Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about dethatching and using a rear attachment dethatcher as I have here. Dethatching, dethatching is a necessary part of maintaining a line. Basically over months and years, thatch can build up in the line where basically it's compressed grass clippings and uh, prevent water, oxygen, and even nutrients from fertilizer from penetrating into the soil and allowing the grass to say to grow healthy. So a dethatcher like this, um, what you do is you basically run it over the lawn and it rips up the thatching um, to the surface of the lawn so that you can go back and rake it up later. Um, by removing the thatch periodically, usually in the spring or in the late fall, um, you can allow the fertilizer that you put in to really react well and, and get the lawn greening and staying healthy. Um, this particular um, dethatcher is a rear one. There is also front um, dethatchers. Which nice, what's nice about the front dethatchers is that you can have a bagger uh, connected to the, um, the lawnmower itself, and as you dethatch, you can um, um, suck up the grass clippings or the dethatching material into the bagger. Prior to actually dethatching a lawn, you should mow the lawn at a very low level, approximately one and a half to two inches high. You don't want to have any really taller than that, or else you can't do a very good job of uh, dethatching the, the lawn. When mounting and adjusting your rear dethatchers I have here, you want to make sure that the tying height is about a quarter inch to a half inch off the surface of the lawn and that the wheels run freely on the back of the dethatcher. So those are the basics on using a dethatcher. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.